and I wanted to real quick give you a tutorial on how to create PowerPoint slides for the worship in chapel. And so um, right now I'm open to Planning Center. Okay, this is what um, I sent you and I scheduled you as well. Um, no, I didn't. Uh, let me schedule you real quick. <laughs> Uh, had people. I thought I did. Being him. Oh, I did. Okay, you're on there. There you are. Okay, you're down here. So you're going to get um, an email. I'm going to send you this right now. Um, boom. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to have access to this page here. Okay, right now we're doing for chapel on October 3rd. Uh, we're going to do praise and then graves into gardens. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to um, and hopefully you can do this on a computer, not so much a, an iPad or a phone. You're going to go here to the file, and you're going to notice that there's six files on here. Okay, um, so once again, you go to the right, click on the little attachment bar, and you're going to notice a file that says lyrics. You're going to click on that. Okay, and um, here are the lyrics. Okay, and then you're going to keep this open, and you're going to go to PowerPoint as well. I got so many things going on. Okay. Um, I'm going to open up PowerPoint. And we're just going to create a blank presentation. Okay. Create. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase. This is how I do it. Okay. There's a bunch of different ways. I'm going to erase mine. I'm going to grab this, put it all the way to the top. Grab this, put it all the way to the bottom. Stretch this out all the way. Okay. Um, and you know what? Let me, let's see this other one here. What font are we using? I have an ear next bold 44. Okay, great. So, and then what I'm going to do, I send you a, um, a folder with some uh, premium still graphics. Okay. And you're going to go to this and then you're going to go to still backgrounds and you're going to choose one. Okay. So I'm going to choose, yeah, let's go with this one. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab it, drag it. Okay. I'm, I use a Mac, so I do a lot of drag and drop. And then you're going to stretch this out. Okay. Boom. And boom. Okay. And then, so what I do is I kind of do the, the double window kind of open. I can even do something like this. I'll go to the right of the screen and then I'll do this one to the left of the screen. Okay. And so I got this going on here. All right. And so, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll do intro. I'll grab this. Oops. Okay, you know what? I'm going to download this. There we go. There we go. That's right, so let's minimize this. And then let's move this to the left. Again, so I just downloaded that Lyric video. So I'm able to... Uh, grab some things a little better. So I'm going to grab this, copy it, and then we're going to put it on here. Uh, let's see here. Did I lose my... Let's, we're going to move this to the back, send to back, and then there's my slides. Okay. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and open this up a little bigger. Okay. Um, I just copied and pasted this. All right, if you want to, you can insert a text box, all right, and you can drag it all the way across here. But here's my file, so I'm gonna go to Avenir. This is the font I use, Avenir Next. We're gonna go to Bold. Now we're just gonna go right to 44, okay? Um, and then what you wanna do is, uh, let's see here. You know what I'm gonna do? We're going to do a, we're gonna do a text box. Okay, and we're going to just go here. And insert a text box. And I'm just going to drag it all the way across here. You can't really see it because it's dark. Okay, and so I'm just going to center it as best as possible. And then, um, let's see, Avenue Next, bold. And we're just going to copy and paste this again. And we're going to go 44, Avenue Next, Bold. Okay, and then we're going to go to White, okay? 
and we're going to center it. All right, and then what we want to do is, oops, with the text box, um, you always want text boxes. You always want to center it at everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Yeah, you you want to do this, and then what I said, what I would suggest um, also being him is going to um, the planning center right here. We're gonna close this, and you can even listen to the lyrics. I mean, check it out. I don't know if you're gonna hear this or not. You may not, but. All right, we're going to stop it, but I don't know if you can listen to that, but you can listen to the songs so that you can get an idea of um, how the phrasing goes, which is let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So, right, you can even keep the same phrasing here if you want. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, so I would do that um, if you want. I'm going to go just a little bigger on this phrase just because it's only two lines, right? Um, yeah, so I, I press command enter. You can even do um, control F5 or function F5. And this is how it looks like. Okay. Um, so we're going to keep going. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I just grab this. I, I uh, copy and paste it. So I, for me, it's Mac command C and command V. And then I'm going to go to the first four lines because that's I guess I could tell by it. one two three four five six seven it's the eight lines here so basically I want four lines the most on each slide so I'm gonna do four lines here boom I'm gonna uh, copy paste this and then just command paste it same concept uh, I'm command select all I'm in your next bold and we're gonna go to 44 that's kind of our, our general and we're gonna go white okay I think we can do a little bigger, so let's go to 48. Praise in the valley, praise in the mountain, okay? I'll praise when I'm sure, praise when I'm doubting, okay? So I'm going to command, we're going to uh, center this again, center, right? We don't want it left, we want it centered. Um, and we're going to go a little bigger. Let's go 54, okay? And again, we're going to center it. Oops, the text box, okay? And again, that's how it looks. We can even go a little bigger. Um, and again, but you want, you know, like I can't go too big on this because if I go here, I, I told you, it just kind of looks funny. So you don't want, you know, to go too on um, too long on the sides here because, and then it'll get, um, yeah, it'll just get, uh, it might cut out in the, when it's on the screen. So, right. So here's my, we're gonna center it, right? So for me, I have the grid lock on, and so I'm able to see, you see how the, the red um, cross, the cross stairs up and down, right? Vertical and horizontal, that's centered, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing, command paste, right? And so, yeah. Um, so here it is, same thing. Uh, let, me, let me try it this way. Um, doesn't make a difference. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing. Command V, select all white. We're gonna go to 54, and we're gonna go to Avenue next. Bold. Okay, and we're gonna center it. Boom. And then we're gonna see. This is the next phrase. We're gonna move this over here because praise, praise when surrounded. Because I'll praise when outnumbered. Praise when surrounded. Because praise is the water, again, my enemies drown in. So here's the other thing you need to know, Bingham, is that every first letter of each new line is capitalized. And there's no um, periods or uh, punctuations at the end. The only one I have here is this little hyphen, obviously this one, because praise, right? So I keep that. Um, so there it is, okay? Uh, same thing. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna do one song. So I'm gonna copy paste this slide. I'm gonna grab these guys here, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Paste it. We're gonna center it white. We're gonna go 54, just because this is only two lines again. And then we're gonna go bold. Okay. As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason. If you can see that, you see like this capital letter is in the first line of when I pasted it. Um, but you can see that each line 
starts with a capital letter so I can tell, okay, this one has to go down, right? And so we're gonna make this big, all right? All right, and then we're gonna center it again with our cross. There we go, all right, see how that looks. That's the reason, okay. And then here's the chorus, easy, boom, boom, same thing. Chorus, grab it, all right. So I'm gonna start moving through this quick now so that this video is not crazy long. Okay, you already know what to do. Okay, go 60 Avenue next, bold, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna grab our we're gonna grab these two. These are our verses because we have verse two. All right, so I'm gonna grab these guys. One, two, three, four. Boom. Okay. Um, right, center. Let me go 54 Avenue next. Bold. Okay. Praise when I feel it, and I'll praise when I don't. Okay, I'll praise because I know there are my four lines. You're still in control, okay? And then so I'm just gonna boom, boom, boom. Okay, same thing here. Okay, boom. Um, down here, okay, same thing. And V, center, white. We're gonna go 54 because that's what I did on my verse before. I'm mean, your next bold. Uh-oh. Hopefully you can still hear me. Okay. All right, so you're not going to, even if, right, these are all the parts of the song, all the separate parts of the song. Um, let's say there's, um, they sing, you get a version of this and they do two verse twos, like you see um, that the, the singer does chorus two and then he sings verse two again you don't have to repeat verse two. You just repeat every separate part of the song. So there's, there's basically an intro, a verse one, a pre-chorus, a chorus one, okay, verse two. You don't, like say in the version that you get, they put a pre-chorus again after verse two, you don't have to repeat it, right? Because you already did it. But now this chorus two is different from chorus one, so we're gonna add it, okay? So, um, so I'm gonna grab this, here's our chorus one, and we're just gonna put it down here paste and then um, I'm going to grab this okay um, this has six lines so it's a little too much but we're just gonna let's do it this way so I'm going to paste that boom boom have your next you know 54 have your next bold okay and then you notice that there's a little too much going on here because it's too many lines so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this same slide. All right, we're gonna add another one. Can you see how there's two now? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pray, pray the Lord, oh my soul. Again, we pray, oh my soul, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out of the first slide. Okay, we're gonna bring this down. There it is. And I think we made this 60, so we're gonna do the same down here. It's gonna be 60, there it is. And then I'm gonna um, take this out because here's the second part, this is the first part and the second part. And then I'm saying, I will be quiet, my God is alive. How could I keep it inside? Praise the Lord, oh my soul, okay? And so that's the other part. And we're gonna go 60, I think we should be able to be okay. And it's not too far on the edges, okay? There's our, okay. And then we are here, pray the Lord. Uh, all right, so again, this part here, if you notice, oh, okay, we had to add the bridge, last one, the bridge. Okay, so we're gonna go here, man, paste. The song has a lot of parts to it. <laughs> Normally songs don't, all right, so don't get too intimidated by it. So we're gonna add the bridge to this. This has, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So kind of same thing like our chorus two. I'm just gonna paste it all on here, okay? And then I'm going to center white. We're gonna go 54, we'll start there. Um, and then your next bold. <clears throat> and 
and then uh, bring this oops make sure you drag the actual text box okay and then I'm gonna double I'm gonna add this I'm gonna make this slide twice because we're gonna have two slides to the bridge praise because you're sobbing praise because you rain praise because you rose and because you rose and defeated the grave okay so that's what we'll stop right there okay, but we need to make this a capital letter okay and so um yes so there's my first part i'm going to erase this okay because i don't need it i'm going to center this oops oops come on baby there we go okay and then oh we're going to switch it this is the first slide okay and then we're going to go to the second one um let's see and you defeated the grave uh where is it you defeated the grave okay so we're going to erase all this because we already have that and then i'll praise because you're faithful praise because you're true praise because there's nobody and then we're going to put here greater than you okay capital g so then we're going down there it is okay um, so there is all of the parts of the song. The ending, that everything that has breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, is basically um, this part here. So we can, you can even copy it and then just go down here and repeat it, okay? Let everything that has breath, all right? And then there's a song, okay? Um, so I want to say this, one more thing, last thing. Uh, this is one song. This one was a very complicated song. Most of them are not this complicated, but whenever you do another song, um, you want to go and get a different color and when you choose a color you don't want it to be similar to this one okay so for example i got this like i don't know teal type kind of color so i'm gonna go with something a little softer maybe like something like this okay um and we're gonna add it actually uh here's what we're gonna do we're going to oh let's say one more thing this song is called Praise. So on this on the very first slide, I'm just gonna write praise. Okay. Nice and big. Um, and we'll make it 60 just because it's the only word. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab this, command, paste, and I'm gonna paste this down here. This is how I do it. And I'm gonna erase this background slide. Um, and then we're gonna add this background slide, okay. Um, again, you need to stretch it out. Okay, and boom. And then because the words are back there, you need to send it to the back. So I'm I'm right clicking and then send to the back. So send to back and there's our words, okay? But this new song is called Graves Into Gardens. So there it is, okay? So now I'm going to do the same thing I did with my second song over here, okay? Um, so I'm gonna say this as, we're just going to call it um, Chapel Bethesda Chapel. And we're going to say 10, 3, 23. Okay. Oops. 10, 3, 23. Okay. And we're going to put it into my worship. Bethesda worship. Okay. Save. All right, Bingham, that's how you do it. Okay. So I'm going to send you this video. Hopefully, this helps. All right, bro. Thanks.